school all day. You take a toll, it's fine. You get her out right away, you get her out right away. All right? We gotta, if we go into rounds, we go into rounds. But you stay calm the whole time, you stay busy. All right, we're gonna have a good night tonight. I, I say it time and time again. Chris Cyborg is the Mike Tyson. When she walks out to that cage, there's an energy that she brings with her, and it's electrifying. She's a kind gentlewoman when you've seen her outside the cage, but once she's inside the cage, a light switch turns on, and it becomes the cyborg, the machine. She's vicious. She has run roughshod through the competition for the better part of a decade. The world beater, Chris Cyborg. And if you've never seen Chris Cyborg fight, prepare yourself for violence. They start to get this image behind them that they're unstoppable and unbeatable. But in the end, we're all just human, and every single one of us can be beat. In the UFC 219 main event, you have featherweight champion of the world Chris Cyborg defending her title against former bantamweight champion Holly Holm. This is a fight that we have wanted to see forever. Holly Holm has the type of style that can give a Chris Cyborg problem because she moves. She's on the outside. She's sticking and moving. She's touching you. She's ah, 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 and then bam. Oh, beautiful combination. Oh, that hurt her. Oh. Holly Holm is known as a monster. She's a multiple world champion. What people sleep on is her ability to kick. The massive head kick she landed on Ronda Rousey was something to behold because no one thought Ronda could lose at the time. Yeah, she's got us in trouble. She's out. Oh, out. She's out. Wow. What a performance by Holly Holm. How do you top what you did against Ronda Rousey? You come back and you do it again. She knocked off Ben's forehead in the same fashion. She has to do now. How do you top that? You go and you beat the unbeatable Chris Cyborg. I think Holly has a real opportunity here to make real history. Uh, another weight class, another world championship, beating the unbeatable person. I think that she's set up right now to show the world that she is capable of making true MMA history. You know, if I can have a win against Cyborg and Ronda, that is bigger to me. That is the biggest thing in my life. I don't want to be defined by one fight. I want to be defined by my whole career and what I've done. And I know what's in store for me. I know I have the toughest fight in my career. She has a lot of stoppages for a reason. She is very powerful, and she imposes her will on people, but my plan for her stopped her. I really said she's going to challenge myself. I'm going to be a big challenge for her, too. I don't think she'll fight nobody with big power hands ahead. When you talk about Chris Cyborg, you talk about power at the highest level and power in its truest form. Chris Cyborg has been so dominant that she has not lost a fight since 2005. I don't think the girls understand how explosive she is, how hard she hits, how relentless she is. When she won the UFC Championship against Tanya Evinger, it felt like it was just a long time coming. This is perfect time because I think I'm in the top of my career now. I'm really happy to just begin it. Now, on December 30th, it's going to be much tougher because for all that Tanya Evinger is and was, she's no Holly Holm. Cyborg has never faced a fighter like me, and I've never faced a fighter like her. This is a whole different fight, and I think that's why there's a lot of curiosity behind it. For me, it's going to be pressure versus footwork. How does that play out? You got a classic brawler against a classic striker, so stylistically, Holly's very sound, very conditioned, and no one's really pushed Christina Cyborg into the late rounds, you know, especially a five-round fight. Holly getting through two rounds, I think, uh, puts Christina Cyborg in a big predicament. Once uh, conditioning's gone and crazy's gone, what do you have left? I'm training for five rounds. I'm picturing five rounds. I want to definitely be ready for all of it. I definitely want to beat her. She think you're going to make me tired, but you know, I'm training always for six rounds. She can try run 25 minutes, you know, I'm going to try catch her 25 minutes. Chris Cyborg takes on this challenge with Holly Holm as another opportunity to kind of stick it to Ronda Rousey as they have had a long, bitter rivalry 
Everybody know why they have, they have the opportunity to fight Ronda. And then Holly fight Ronda. But you know, this fight, when we fight together, you now I think you're going to beat both on the same night after this fight. She got her hands full with Holly Holm. When it comes down to the fight, here's the facts. She's going to want to hit me as hard as she can. She's going to want to knock me out. Same here. I want to knock her out. I want to win the fight. Oh, UFO! She just got blocked. I want to fight to the death, you know? I'm not going to give up and I will do my best. This girl is a knockout artist. She's going to knock out every girl that's in front of her. They've got to lay it all on the line here. This fight is going to be crazy. You know something's going to happen. You know something's going to be hit. You know something's going to be sleep. Get your sideboard! it on! For sure, somebody go down, and they're gonna be Holly. This is going to be amazing. Let's go. Every fighter is beatable. In the co-main event of UFC 219, you have Edson Barbosa taking on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Now, when you talk about Edson Barbosa, what stands out? The leg. Back out! His boxing is high level too. Nice body attack there from Edson Barbosa. Edson Barbosa's on the roll. He's won three fights in a row. And the last fight against Benil Darius was just nasty. Oh, he got him! Edson Barbosa does it again! That shows the ability to finish fights in a number of different ways, from spinning heel kicks to submission to a flying knee. He can do it all. Every time I step up, I go on. I said, big one. If you fight with me, and if you pain, I'm gonna hurt you. He went to train with Mark Henry, so every day he's getting to wrestle Eddie Alvarez. He's getting to wrestle with Frankie Edgar. Nice. He has not felt anything, though, like Khabib Nurmagomedov. Khabib Nurmagomedov mauls people. He's a very, very rare talent. You're looking at the best fighter in the world without a title, 24-0. And professional career. Dominant victories over some of the best fighters that you have seen in this division. Oh! The last time we saw Khabib Nurmagomedov was at UFC 205 in Madison Square Garden. Khabib Nurmagomedov! Now he's back and he's looking to replicate the performance that he had against a tough, durable Michael Johnson. In that fight, you saw a Dagestan beatdown. In the fight, he told Michael Johnson, you must give up now. I have broken you. My best background is like smashing opponents, you know, like make him give up, like my goal is breaking. The fight's gonna be fireworks. You, you think about Barbosa and, and you wonder, what's the strategy? I know I can't play in the ground, I can't play in, in the wrestling, I can't play in the feet, but I have this fight going right. And on the other side, do you just say business as usual? If you're Habib, it's always work. I'm gonna try to take him down, but if he stop me one time, he have to stop me one other time because I'm not going to stop. If I have one chance to opportunity to finish the fight, the fight's over. He have only one way. He have to knock me out. If he don't knock me out, I'm gonna keep going. It's gonna be a chess match, and the winner of this fight will position themselves right at the top of the division for a championship. I want to become UFC lightweight champion, and I want to retire UFC undisputed and undefeated lightweight champion. Better to be a lightweight champion of the world.